Hamilton County School Board members are still looking for a temporary leader. Members are going over interim options at a meeting right now. That's where we'll find News Channel 9's Stephanie Sanastasi. Stephanie, what have they talked about so far? Well, Kim Calvin, right now the agenda session just wrapped up and they are in that special called meeting. It has been exactly one month since Rick Smith announced his retirement and now board members must find a interim superintendent to take the place before they name a permanent superintendent. Right now there are eight candidates that are vying for that interim job. They, uh, some of those candidates are Kurt Kelly, who is the, right now the acting superintendent with Lee McDade. Another one is Jill Levine, the normal park principal. They're all also is a retired Marine in the running, as well as business leaders throughout our community. We're told that at this meeting, the chairperson, Jonathan Welch, says that the board members will pick three of these candidates to narrow down the search for the interim job. And then by next week, hopefully by next Thursday at that school board meeting, they will be able to name who the interim candidate will be, the interim superintendent, until they are able to name that permanent superintendent. Again, right now, we're not sure when they plan to have the permanent superintendent named in Hamilton County. For now, reporting live, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Stephanie, thank you. And before the board began discussing interims, they had a policy work session to discuss bullying and the hazing policies in the school system. Board members spoke about changes for overnight field trips and chaperone requirements. Steve Highlander suggested an in-service day to talk about procedures for chaperones. Attorney Scott Bennett raised the possibility of changing the child abuse and neglect policy to mirror state law. In work sessions, though, nothing is voted on, just discussed.